Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 max chapter 11 tables and shares textbook solutions. So here uh, the answers are given for uh, just for reference. So Shyama's garden. Shyama has planted sunflower, rose and marigold plants in her garden. She has planted them in three flower beds. Her garden looks like this. So here you can see three flower beds. So one, two, three. So she has, she has. See how I plant, planted 18 plants in each flower bed. So she arranged, see one, two, three, four, five, six. So she arranged 18 plants in such a way. Each flower bed has different arrangement. See how the roses are plant, planted. So 18 equal to 16, uh, 6 into 3. So there are 6 rows with 3 plants each. What are the ways in which the sunflower and marigold are planted? So we can write 18 uh, in different combination. So 2 into 9. So here you can see sunflower. So here uh, you can see sunflower and marigold here. So she has arranged. 2 into 9. Next. So, so the answer is 2 into 9. So there are 2 rows in which 9 plants each. She can also arrange 3 uh, rows in which 6 plants are there in each. So you too can make your own garden, draw a garden showing flower beds with 48 plants. Each row should have the same number of plants. So, you can have uh, 12 rows in which uh, each row has 4 plants. So, you will be getting the same 48 plants. So, you can also arrange in different way also. Next, jars in the shelf. Bhima made a shelf for 30 jars. This is a long shelf with 2 rows. Each row has the same number of jars. So, you can see here. So, 5. 5, 5. So here it is 15, 15. So she arranged two rows. Each uh, row has 15 uh, jars. So totally she has arranged this uh, jars. So she, uh, she arranged 30 jars. Can you think of other ways to make a shelf to keep 30 jars? So how can uh, this can be kept? So she can also make three rows. So each row she can have three so she can arrange like this. So 10 rows she can arrange, each containing 3. So 10 into 3 she can arrange. So how many rows are there? So, so each row, each um, we can make shelf with 3 rows to keep 30 jars. Total number of jars is 30. Now the rows is 3. So each number of jar, jars in uh, each row is 10. So, you can also keep here 10, here 10, 10. So, this is also possible. 10 here, 10 here, 10 here. So, totally you will be getting 30. So, this can also be possible. Next, easy tricks. I did not, I do not know the multiplication table of 7. So, being a, a 4 standard student, you would have uh, uh, known till at least 15 tables. But this bunty, do not know the multiplication table of 7. But Guddu says I know the table still 5 but there is an easy trick. I can make the table of 7 with the table of 2 and 5. So why 2 and 5? Because when you add 2 and 5 you will be getting 7. 2 plus 5 is 7. So we will see how she is getting. So she has written 2 table here. So this is 2 table and this is 5 table. So how can she uh, write a uh, 7 table? So 2 plus 5 is 7. 4 plus 10 is 14. So 6 plus 15 is 21. 8 plus 20 is 28. Similarly, you can uh, do up to 10. See here 20 plus 50 is. So here you have to add the answers alone. So, 20 plus 50 is 70. 
So, the same way you can do for any greater number of table. See how I added the two numbers in the yellow boxes to get the table of 7. Ha, it is easy. I can also make the table of 7 with the tables of 4 and 3 because 2 plus 5 is also 7, 4 plus 3 is also 7. So, so you should know the table of 4. Uh, so, 12. So, you can fill the table of 4 after which you have to fill the table of 3. So, with both the tables 4 and 3, you are you're going to fill table of 7. So, you have to an, add the answers of both tables here. So, shall we uh, see the answer? See here, 4 plus 3 is 7, 8 plus 6 is uh, 14, 12 plus 9 is 21. So, you can do up to 10. See here, 40 plus 30 is 70. So, this is how you should uh, write table of 7 with table of 4 and table of 3. Which two tables will you use for writing table of 12? So, which two numbers? So, by adding you will be getting 12. So, either you can make 7 plus 5 or 10 plus 2. So, these are the easiest method. First, we will try with the, this is the easy. Um, 10 plus 2. So, first we will write the 10 table. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then we are going to write 2 table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, when you add you will be getting 12 table. So, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Next, how many cats? Some of Gayatri's cats were playing in a box. When she tried to count, all she could uh, see were legs. She counted 28 legs. How many cats are there in the box? So, you all know that each cat has 4 legs. So, she saw 28 cats. 28 legs she saw. So, 8 leg means two cats. 12 legs means three cats. So, shall we fill here how many legs? Four legs means one cat. Eight legs means two cat. 12 leg meaning is three cats. Four is uh, 16. If it, if it has uh, 16 legs, four cats. 20 legs, five cats. 24 legs, six cats. 28 legs is seven cats. So, 28 legs meaning 7 cats. Billo has kept his chickens in a box. He counted 28 legs. So, how many chickens are there? So, cat has 4 uh, uh, legs. But uh, chickens has only 2 legs. So, how much it is? 14 chickens. Leela has not gone to school for 21 days. For how many weeks was she away from school? You know, 1 week has 7 days. So, Leela was away from school for three weeks. Next, jumping animals. Do you remember the jumping animals of class 3? Class 3 itself, we have done this. A frog jumps three steps at a time starting from 0. Count the jumps he takes to reach 27. So, 27 divided by 3 is. So, how you have to do is 27. When you divide it by 3, you will be getting 9. So, in 9 jumps. It will reach 27. He has taken dash jumps if he is at 36. So, 36 you have to divide it by 3. 3 ones are 3. So, you have to minus you will be getting 0. 6. 3 twos are uh, 6. So, the answer is 12. Or you can uh, check manually. So, 3, 1, uh, 6. 9 you or you can check manually if he is at 42 he has taken so 46 he has taken uh, for 36 uh, he has taken 12 jumps for 39 13 jumps for um, 42 it would be 14 jumps starting from 0 a rabbit jumps 5 steps each time so previously jumped 3 steps now how many jumps does it uh, does he reach 25 so easy is it 
so it is 5 jumps he reaches dash after 8 jumps so he reaches 40 so 8 fours are 40 so he reaches 40 he needs dash jumps to reach 55 so easy so it is 55 divided by 5 is what is the answer 11 next you are going to do practice time so whenever you get this division so this is you all know this is numerator this is denominator so this number you are going to divide so uh, whichever number you have down denominator whichever number you have to uh, divide so write down the table of it so first you take the first number so two table uh, will have two in one okay so one times it goes then eight table comes as two fours or eight so you have to write 14 similarly you have to uh, fill the remaining so 56 divided by uh, 7 is 8 48 divided by 4 is 12 66 divided by 6 is 11 so if you want to check your answer you can multiply this so you will be getting this answer you can multiply this and check whether you are getting this answer 96 divided by 8 is 12 110 divided by 10 is 11 next sea shells Dhruv lives near the sea. He thought of making necklaces for his three friends. He looked for seashells the whole day. He collected 112 seashells by evening. Now he had many different colorful and shiny shells. I will make a necklace of 28 shells. Will these shells be enough to make necklaces for all my friends? So let us check. He took 28 shells for one necklace so now he has left with so uh, if you uh, subtract uh, 28 from 112 you will be getting 84 again she took 28 so for the second ne uh, necklace so now she will be left with 84 minus 28 so she will be left with 56 again she took uh, 28 for third necklace so 56 minus 28 is 28 so how many necklace can do make from 112 so she can make four necklace meaning 28 into 4 is 112 isn't it are the shells enough for making necklaces for all his friends yes the number of shells were enough for making necklaces for all the friends after making three necklaces for his friends 28 shells were still left with Drew. Try this. So, we will see this uh, word problem. Kannu makes made a necklace of 17 seashells. How many such necklaces can be made using 100 seashells? We will check. Kannu used 17 shells to make a necklace. So, if you want to make uh, one necklace, 17. So, therefore, for six, ne six necklaces, um, he needs 102. So, but totally he has 100 only. So, he can make only 5 necklaces. So, if he makes 5 necklaces, 17 into 5, so the answer will be 5, 85. So, he will be uh, left with 15 uh, seashells will be left with her so that is the answer so kannu can make five necklaces so with uh, 100 uh, seashells 15 are left so we'll see this word problem one carton can hold 85 soap bars shali wants to pack 338 soap bars how many cartons does she need for packing all of them so number of uh, bars that can be packed on one carton is 85 so for four carton is 340 but if you take three cartons they can pack only 255 soap bars but what how much she is uh, she has 338 so she she will have to take four cartons to pack 338 soap bars next step Manpreet wants 1500 sacks of cement for making a house. A truck carries 250 sacks at a time. How many trips will the truck make? So we'll see. 
so for one trip 250 for uh, six six trips 1500 so her driver charges rupees 500 for a trip how much will manfred pay the driver for all the trips so 500 into 6 is 3000 so number of trips made is 6 um, payment is rupees 3000 next gangu's sweet gangu is making sweets for eid he, uh, he has made a tray of 80 laddus please pack four laddus in a box i need 23 boxes are the sweets in the tray enough to pack 23 boxes so you have to check see here so he has totally 80 laddus so we'll check 23 small boxes each should have four so here it is 92 but uh, how much uh, he has in total only 80 so 12 is shortage how many more uh, speeds are needed 12 gangu also has a bigger box in which she can pack he, he packs 12 laddus how many bo boxes uh, does he need for packing 60 laddus so 60 divided by 12 is easy 5 boxes next uh, next first we'll see the uh, third question then we'll come to 1 and 2 Razia wants change for rupees 500 how many notes will she get if she wants in return all 100 rupee no notes so 500 divided by 100 is 5 all 50 rupees notes so it is easy 10 all 20 rupees notes so it is 25 because 25 um 25 into 20 is 500 okay all 5 rupee notes so it is 100 next we'll see the word problems neelu brought 15 story books to our class today 45 students are present how many children will need to share one book so we'll see total number of students is 45 neelu bought uh, 15 books so 45 divided by 15 is 3 so three children will have to share one book so that uh, they all can share 15 story books the answer is three next question a family of eight people needs 60 kg wheat for a month how much wheat does this family need for a week so quantity of wheat uh, required by family in one month is 60 kg so we know that there are four weeks in a month so you have to divide uh, 60 divided by four is you'll be getting 15 kg so this is 15 kg is the amount of wheat required for a family in one week if they are using 60 kg wheat for a month next you have to distribute 72 tomatoes equally in three baskets how many tomatoes will there be in each so 72 divided by 3 years 24 so you all know that it should be distributed equally so you, uh, each basket contains 24 tomatoes next there are 30 350 uh, bricks in a hand cart binod found the weight of a brick is to be 2 kg what will be the weight of all the bricks so it is easy 2 into 350 is 700 so 700 is the answer children and their grandfather rashi seema mridul rohit and lokesh asked their grandfather to give their money for their for the fat i have 70 rupees in my pocket tell me how to share money equally among all of you if you are right you will you get this money so what is the answer easy 70 so divided by 5 you will be getting 50 but 20 rupees are still left so what you can do easy way is 70 divided by so you will check so when you divide 70 so 70 easy is 5 so, so 5 ones are 5 you will be getting 20 here so 5 fours are 20 the answer is 0 so 14 rupees each should uh, have 14 rupees so that it will be divided equally 
Next, another method is, so that is the first method, Mridul and Rukesh are trying 70 divided by 5 in a different way. First, what they give is, they give 5 rupees to each. So, so 5 rupees to each members will be 25. So, you, are go, you have to subtract 25 from 70. So, next, I give rupees 6 more to everyone. So, so 6 into 5 is 30. So now I am left with 15 rupees. So again he is distributing the 15 rupees. So each will be getting um, 3. So totally uh, each uh, person will have 5 plus three, uh, 6 plus 3. So the same answer is 14. So this is different way. Check your answer, multiply your answer by 5 and see if you get 70. Is your answer right? So next, your method. Now, use your own method to divide rupees 70 equally among 5 people. If you want, you can start by giving 2 each or you can uh, even start by rupees 11. So easy method is, this is the easy method. 70 divided by 5. So 5, 1s are 5, you will be getting uh, 2. So, you have to subtract first. Then you have to um, bring down the second digit. So, 7 into how many will give 20? 7 fours are, uh, sorry, 5 into uh, which number will give 20? So, 5 fours are 20. So, when you subtract, you will be getting the remainder as 0. So, answer is 14. This is the easy way. Try doing this. So, you can also try doing the simple uh, division. First, I will do only for 1. So, I will let me take uh, for this 428 divided by 2. So, whenever you have uh, 2 or the uh, number. So, first take the first digit. So, let us take the first digit 4. So, 2 multiplied by which number you will be getting 4. So, 2 twos are 4. So, then you have to subtract this. You will be getting 0 here. Then you have to take the second number. So, 2 into 1s are 2. So, you will here you will you have to minus. So, you, you will be getting 0. And then you have to bring down the third number. So, 2 into 4 is 8. So, the answer is 0 here. So, the here the answer is 214. The same way you can do for the remaining. Pass the video. Solve in your notebook and then check the answers. So, these are the answers. You can check after solving. Just pass the video and do. Mira ha made 204 candles to sell in the market. She makes packets of 6. How many packets will she make? If she packs them in a packets of 12, then how many packets will she make? So, first she is making 6. Makes packets of 6. 6. For that, what do you have to do? So, you have to divide 204 divided by 6 so we'll be getting 34 as the answer if she packs them in a 12 so she'll be getting 17 so this is easy on sports day 161 children are in the school playground they are standing in seven equal rows how many children are there in each row so 161 divided by 7 so what is the answer 7 2s are 14. So, you have to subtract. You will be getting 2. Then you have to bring the next number. 7 3s are 21. So, the answer is reminder is 0. So, 23 is the answer. Next, story problems. Srishti's grandma is making her to make, asking her to make problems. Look at the picture and make a question on it. There are 3 crates. Each crate has 24 bottles in it so she can ask question like how many bottles are there in all how many uh, bottles are there in all so 24 and 2 3 12 72 bottles are there in all similarly you can also try different questions see here now look at the other pictures and make a questions like srishti there are eight packets of rakis each packet has Six rakis in it. So, what question you can make? How many rakis are there in total? 
So, 8 packets, each packet has 6 rakis. So, 8 into 6 is the answer, that is 48 is the answer. Next, there are 10 packets of sugar. Sauro paid 110 uh, rupees for all the packets. What question you can make is, what is the cost of 1 packet? So, 1 packet is rupees 11. So, that 10 packets will be 11 into uh, 10 is 110. Next, there are 35 students in 7 rows. Each row has the same number of students. So, each row is C5, 5, 5. So, how many students are there in each row? So, it is 5. Next, Hari, Seema, Chinku and Lakshmi are going to Gauhati. The cost of one rail ticket is 62. What is the total cost of rail ticket? So, you have to. So, 4 people. 1, 2, 3, 4. 62 into 4. So, 8. 248 rupees is the total cost of rail tickets. 1 meter of cloth cost rupees 20. Lal Byak uh, bought some cloth and paid rupees 140. So, 140 divided by 20 is 70. So, how many meters of cloth did Lal Byak buy? So, that is 70. So, also guess the answers. We have, we have also guessed the answers. So, chapter 11, uh, tables and shares uh, ends here. Hope this video is useful and I have explained all the uh, questions from the textbook. So, like if you like this video. Thanks for watching.